Hello, this is Chris Menard. I'm still getting a lot of comments and questions on my YouTube channel about Zoom virtual backgrounds. People are still having an issue with them. So I'm just going to run you all the way through step one that I would take down to step three. And I'm going to go in the exact order I would do this. And just to be clear, I'm on a PC, but I'll also show you where this would be on a Mac. I have two machines that the virtual images and videos work and I even have one laptop that doesn't work and I'm even show you the error message that I get on that laptop. So the first thing I would do is really simple. This is fast. Pull up the Zoom desktop app and go and check for your updates and just take a look at what version you have. Just so you know, today is April 2nd, 2020, and there was an update today for me on the PC. So that's step one. So the next thing I want to tell you is, let me get out of here. So that was step one. Step number two is to find out what processor your machine has and what generation of processor. So it's processor and generation. You can right click on start in the bottom right corner and go to the task manager, which I believe is the seventh one up. I like the keyboard. Here's a great keyboard trick you need the rest of your life. Control, shift, and the escape key all on the left-hand side of the keyboard. When your task manager appears, go to the performance tab, the second tab. Click on CPU if necessary. If you look over there to the right on my screen, I'm running an i7, that's my processor, it's either going to be i3, which will definitely not do virtual background, an i5, which may or may not do it, and an i7, again, which may or may not do it. Just so you know, there is an i9 out. In general, but not always in general, the higher the number, the better the processor. Not always, but in general. So I have an i7. The next problem is what generation is it? If you notice, I have 6700 after it. That very first number, the number six, tells me it is a six generation chip. So now that I know what processor and what generation, we'll just minimize that for now. I don't even need this. Back to Zoom's support page, which I'll put a link down below. And again, I'm going to show you this for the Mac in just a second. Here are the prerequisites. Image only without a physical green screen. I'm going to make an assumption that most people do not have a green screen. The advantage of the green screen is uh, there's less stringent requirements. So, option one, yeah, if you recall, I had version 4 point something. I'm running Windows 10. I do have an i7, and again, I've got a six generation. It's got the number six there. So I'm good already with option one, but there is also an option two. If it says uh, dual core, let me show you what that is. Down below here again in the task manager or cores, it's either gonna be two, four, possibly six, maybe eight, you could have more than eight, but it most likely it's going to be four, six, or eight, but you could have a two also, so check that. Now, that was just image only. Let's go to images and videos. By the way, they go into the green screen, less stringent requirements. And then we go video or image without a physical green screen, because now it's got video in there. So if you have an i5 6th generation, so again i5 and the number 6 after it, but if you have a U series, the, the letter U will be up there in your task manager, by the way. You would see the letter U. You're out of luck. 4th uh, generation i7 quad core or higher. I've got a 6th generation i7 cores. Quad is four. I've got four. So I'm good on that one. Again, if you have the green screen, less requirements. Mac requirements. I do not have a Mac, but Christian, who put together the Zoom Resource Center page on my website and handles it, he's over in the UK. He does my website. 
Um, those were all blogs I did. Here are some Zoom videos, but we added for free. Here are all the video virtual backgrounds we put out here for you. There's a lot. There's 24, 25. And they do work if you have the requirements. So he has a Mac, so he sent me this screenshot right here that's popping up on the screen right now. Uh, go to the Apple icon in the top left, click, and then he has an i9, which is the latest Intel chip out there. So I'm hoping that helps. I'll go ahead and tell you this also. Chromebook, I do not see where a Chromebook meets the specifications um, to do virtual backgrounds, images, or videos. If you have an iPhone, the iPhone's somewhere out here, Christian got the images to work for the virtual video background, the virtual backgrounds, but video is not in there. He sent me a screenshot this morning on his iPhone that worked. I have an Android phone. I cannot get virtual backgrounds to work. One last thing. So you update your software, you check your processor and generation. If you notice down here, enabling virtual background, if you work at a company and have a Zoom account through your company, or if you're a student and your account with Zoom is through the university or college, they may have actually turned off virtual background. As you can see right there, there is virtual background. They can flip that back and forth between on and off. I have a virtual, I have a Zoom account that I pay for. That's called a license account. But even with the free account, my virtual background works on this machine that I'm on right now. So there's where I go to turn that on and off. And I did a video of that last week. So I hope that helps. Check, the, check your update. Go see what your process and generation is. And then think about, hey, is this through myself or through my company? Chromebook doesn't work. Android phone doesn't work. My Samsung tablet doesn't work with this. So my next video, which will be out tomorrow, April 3rd, I'm going to discuss using an internal or an integrated web camera that most laptops have versus an external web camera, which I'm using right now. And I'll also discuss lighting again with Zoom. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to come over to the Zoom Resource Center page that we've developed. It also has all the keyboard shortcuts that I like when I'm in a meeting, both for Windows or PC and both for the Mac. Have a good one. Thank you.